good afternoon everybody and welcome to the video in my part one essentially i i showed you how you can write a glue job that can combine smaller json file into a large parquet with snappy compression we wrote the code for that right we essentially but used console in this video my goal is essentially to show you how you can leverage the use of terraform to deploy that glue script to uh, aws right so that's the goal of the tutorial all right uh, let me quickly open up my snippets as well so uh, i could refer while teaching you guys all right hopefully you guys can hear me um, and i can start the se session so i have a very simple glue script uh, as you can see here uh, the script takes an input location and has an output location so the input is wherever there are single json file the output is essentially where it has to dump so now we need to uh, deploy this right so i'm gonna click on file i'll click on main.tf as you can see this is an empty terraform file now the very first thing we need to do is i need to head over to the project directory i'll click on open in terminal and let me know if you can hear me properly so now i'll say the command terra form in it so this is gonna initialize the terraform in that directory right that's great now uh, now we need to start writing the infrastructure code so here i'll try to collapse and zoom in so you can see here i'm using provider as aws which means i'm writing code for amazon cloud right so now we'll declare a couple of variables so i'll create a placeholder Remember, there are some best practices in Terraform as well. For example, variables can go in a separate, you know, uh, separate uh, Terraform file, right? But for now, it's fine. We are learning, so not the end of the world, right? So we'll use the word variable, and then we'll say we'll create a variable called job language. This will tell the Terraform that what language to use. Uh, I prefer using Python, so I'll use Python there. Okay. Then I'll say variable, then I'm going to create a bucket name where I will put my Terraform script, right? So um, then here default. So we'll put the bucket name. Okay, so that's great. Now we'll put the ARN, the, the role that will give this script permission to run, right? So I'll put that in a variable as well, Va variable. And I'll say glue on. Okay and uh, I'll paste the default on here, okay? Now I'll put in a job name, so I'll say variable. Uh, it's a little long name, but it is fine, not a problem at all. Now, uh, we have done that. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to deploy this script to an S3 bucket. So I'll use a resource object, as you know, resource. Now AWS S3, and we'll say bucket. Object stands for, because I want to upload an object. Okay, so I said upload glue script. Now this will be a placeholder, right? So I'll I'll replace that by var dot bucket name. Uh, the key is essentially uh, the key that you want on the cloud. So I'll say uh, let's put in the same file name uh, as that. So I'll put compressed. So I'll uh, so we'll put glue compressed dot py, and we wanna put inside a folder called scripts. So we'll create a variable for this as well. Variable. Okay, so now I can essentially use a placeholder here. Okay, so that's great. So now this will essentially, you know, upload it. And then I need to provide a source, which means uh, this script is gonna be in my current directory, right? So I'm gonna say again, file name. So that's great. Now we need to up write the resource for the glue job. So I'll say AWS and I'll use uh, glue. So the glue job, right? 
okay so now here uh, there is a variable where i can just say i can again use dollar sign i can use job name dollar sign i'll use the arn now uh, description uh, i'll put in a description right then uh, maximum number of retries how many times i want to try if a job fails i want to try one time i'll put the timeout as uh, 2880 right and now here i'll put in the command so this is where uh, the glue will search for my file on s3 so wall dot bucket name again is a placeholder just making sure uh we go inside the scripts uh, as you can see here uh, s is capital so i'll try to make this capital and then here again this will be a placeholder file name so that's great now execution property uh, how many concurrency do you need for the job i'll use two uh, or one whatever you need and then the glue version i'll be using glue version 3 and this is all i have for my terraform script so now as you can see it looks good now i can deploy my script so cls terraform and before we do an apply as you can see uh i do not have any jobs here terraform apply oops i think i have a problem default as python main.tf so there is a looks like there is a syntax error main.tf line 10 python so let's uh figure out what we have done wrong so i'll review my uh, script now shortly so language default as python i think i have an idea why because uh this has to be double quotes uh 99.99% that is the problem but uh let's try again uh we still have lot of problems invalid character oh yeah i can i seems like i cannot use um uh single quotes in terraform uh, so i'll i'll try to make things all double quotes so i'm just reviewing my script okay uh, so here i need to make double quotes okay so here as well i need to make it double quotes right and coming down the line making sure i haven't done any mistakes here so this all looks good uh just double checking for the one final time yeah looks like it, it it is fine so it's fine so terraform apply uh we still have a issue not sure why it's complaining on invalid argument block definition uh job language uh let me see what what exactly uh i thought i i i i made that correction So let me do this again. Okay, job language. Yeah, it seems like okay. So I I don't see any problem here. Okay. Maybe I think it might be uh this one but uh uh yeah, let let, let, let let's see a, in a second. Okay, sawmill dev bucket. Let me make sure uh, I have the test3 bucket first. otherwise he will complain so it seems like there's some typo in my script terraform apply now trying again um inconsistent dependency lock oh i know why so uh, let me fix that so i'll fix that in a second uh, dir okay let's do Let me do an init again. Uh, maybe I I forgot, um, but maybe not. But I'm gonna do an init again, and hopefully this should resolve my problem. So now it is doing the Terraform init, okay. And as as you can see, I'm not editing the video. I'm showing you all the errors and how I'm solving it. Terraform apply. Let's try again. And this time I'm I'm confident that it should work fine. All right, we'll say yes so that the terraforms can deploy, and sure enough, it did. So now going back here, now I'm gonna refresh, and there you go, guys. Compress last file. We have the script. Everything works. Thank you very much for listening to me. 
I'll put the Terraform script uh, in the description section below. So if you want, you can check that out. Once again, keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning. I would see you guys in the upcoming next session. Thank you guys.